gathered in this time and place to pay our humble respects for the life of Patricia, Ken and the son, Sault Ste. Marie's son, Donna's son, John Wayne Fox. And though I did not know John in his lifetime, it has been made abundantly clear from every story that I have heard about John that he was one proud Canadian, proud to serve his country, proud to do his duty wherever and whenever he was called upon to do so. In his own words to his mother not so long ago, to keep the war over there and us safe over here. And in nearly 20 years of soldiering, he has earned the respect of his troops and his senior officers. The words consummate soldier <coughs> have been spoken in many quarters about John. He spoke his mind and his opinions may have cost him his rank occasionally, but what he lost in pay, he gained in respect, in tons of respect, as a manager of his troops and the feelings that they had for him. He was able to walk that fine line between friendship and leadership and cross neither, give him a job to do and he got it done, and never lost one of his people in so doing. One who served with him called him a grizzled heart combat vet with a heart of gold. He did things the regimental way, leading from the front. I was approached the other day by a lady who said to me, I taught Johnny in high school history many years ago. And that must have been in that short window between football season and wrestling, perhaps, when he was attending classes. And I thought to myself, this is a wonderful memory from this delightful lady. And she said, one of the things I will always remember is that shock of red hair that he had, bouncing down the hallway. And I thought to myself as she was saying this to me, this is probably the mildest memory that I have heard in the last two days of this young there are lots of adjectives one might use about him, many of which you wouldn't say in this sanctuary, but they would be true nonetheless. For the names that he inherited from his grandfather John and his father Wayne made him a man just in life just as unforgettable as the Duke himself. His image was larger than his personality and stature, and I've never before been introduced to a man as the fellow who had arrested Johnny for the first time. <laughs> it's what endeared him to his friends, gave gray hairs to his mother, irritated his big sister, and gave nightmares to his career managers. J. Dub lived into his name. He entered the military as a young man in his 20s and like his grandmother before him, rose to the rank of sergeant. John worked hard and played hard, as Sheldon has told us. And when he had downtime, he knew how to enjoy himself. And nothing brought him more enjoyment than to be with his family. And in his own generous way, he made for them memories, many of them good, many of them legendary, all of them with his unique signature upon it. Like barbecuing cheeseburgers at 3 o'clock in the morning, or all night sessions watching entire box sets of Star Trek for two and a half men, armed with appropriate libations in adequate quantities. <laughs> it was a routine patrol, just another day's work outside the wire, that took him to that moment in time when he joined the Eternal Battalion and the other 37 members of the Patricia family who were there before him. 
He served his country even unto death in a place called Afghanistan. For John was just another day at work doing what you do in the business of soldiering. He was proud to serve, and I dare say he was glad it was he who, and not one of his people who took the hit that day in the desert. It is my hope that we do John Wayne proud, not by just engraving his name on our cenotaph along with the other two members of the Patricia family from the First World War whose names are there. We will do him proud certainly as a community as we find a brick for his name in our walk of fame. But we will do him proud as we take the core values of his life and integrate them into our lives, living them daily, and thereby etching for him a living memorial. He made friends, and he kept them lifelong. His generosity, his compassion, and when necessary, self-sacrifice is why we are here today. But above all else, it was family. His family of origin when he was home, his military family when he was at work. In his own unique way, he loved both his families in a very special way. Your mission is ended, Sergeant Jane Wan. John Wayne fought. You have done your duty. Rest easy, soldier. We are proud to call you Canada's son, Sault Ste. Marie's son, Donna's son, and to thank our God for your service and your life. <laughs>